So as you can see, my phone is broken. I've got like a, a broken line on it. I'm okay with it, but a lot of people don't like it when they see my phone. So I'm going to put a screen recording onto the uh, right. If I go in here, click into Obsidian. This is how I took notes on my phone during uh, the recent Berlin conference. So if I swipe to the right, you can see I've got all of my bookmarks up. And these are all the different lectures that I had. And it takes me to those files. You can see inside the files, I've got pictures. I'll go through how I did that in a minute. But if I go all the way to the top left, push that button, then push on the back arrows, it takes me to file search and bookmarks i don't really use the files much i don't really use the search much but if i go into the settings go to core plugins you can see i've got the audio recorder turned on because that's what i use to grab audio while i'm on my phone i have the bookmarks turned on because that's what i'm using to navigate between the lectures and i'm using obsidian sync because it helps me go between the two different devices so whether that's on my phone or my pc so when i came back from berlin uh, i actually use sync to sync it up to my pc going into the settings and scrolling all the way down you can see i'm only syncing images and audio because i'm on a collaborative vault so i don't sync the main settings appearance settings or anything like that which is why if I go back uh, and then come out of settings close that oh no I wanted that and go back to bookmarks these bookmarks are not synced to my PC because I don't sync those settings because like I said this is a collaborative vault so all of these will not appear in the bookmarks of my desktop. I can have them synced if I wanted, but then it would sync to the other person's vault that I was with, and John, John in the uh, podcast, I'll leave a link in the description for, for that one. But yeah, so I, I leave this one off, oops. Then when I come into the actual file, you can see at the top, all these orange colors are the default, but I have a plus button, and this is a quick ad. I've done a, an explanation on what a quick ad is before in a previous video, I'll leave it at the top right of this one, but I can type in lecture one, lecture two, or whatever the name of the lecture is, and then add that file in, which is how I added all of the files into here. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see there's the cursor, I can start typing. And what's come up here is a toolbar. Uh, I've got a few things on my toolbar. This one indents everything, so you can see there's the words, indenting it to the right, indenting it to the left. I use that instead of bullet points because it's easier. And this one is deleting the line. So those are the three most common that I use. Uh, if I have a couple of lines of words and I want to switch them, I can move them up or move them down, which again makes it easier on the phone because you can't highlight text as easy or use hotkeys, which I love to use. Uh, undo, redo, that's explanatory, settings, keyboard, all of these are really obvious things. But how do I get a picture in here? I have a gesture on my phone. When I double tap the power button, it takes me to the camera. So uh, let's just take a, bit, a picture of my uh, keyboard very quickly. And now once I've taken the picture, I go to the gallery. I can then come down here and push the share button, then go to Obsidian. And now because I'm already in the file, it says import into vault, and then it's importing it. And now it says, do you want to insert a link to lecture one? Yes, I do. And there's the picture. So it's created an image file on the phone. It's attached the image file inside of the Obsidian Vault folder that's on my phone. And now I have a link inside of the file. So, oops, I didn't want to tap that. So now when I go underneath the image, I can carry on writing whatever I want to write. And what this will do is it will sync up to my notes on my computer. So if I swipe to the left, you can see there's the, the green tick that's saying, yep, you've synced it. During the lectures, sometimes in lecture, say I was in lecture five and I wanted to know, oh yeah, I was, that was that thing in lecture three. Instead of coming over here because I wanted both of them up, I'd click on the tabs and then create a new tab. And then I can search for whatever lecture it was. So go to, uh, let's say go to lecture three. And now it's opened up lecture three as another tab. So I've got number two, I can either go to lecture one or lecture three. If I want to just search for something, I can then go into here and then go, uh, let's go to the hotel conversation. So now I still have the two tabs open, but lecture one and hotel conversation. So tabs are still available on the phone, which is very nice. And you can see uh, back in the hotel when I was with John, I recorded the conversation through Obsidian because <laughs> I was like, this is a really good conversation, but I don't want to be taking notes on this right now. So I just recorded it. So if you push in and you start typing, you see the toolbar. Uh, but if you come out, I'm just going to bring up the sidebar and then bring it back again, just the convenience. You can see down the bottom, I now have this other menu again. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see that. Uh, and I'm going to push the bottom right button. And this is essentially the ribbon. So the ribbon on the PC that's on the left is in the bottom right on the phone. And you can see start, stop recording. I've moved that to the top. So again, if I go to the settings, I then go to the appearance, I then scroll down. You can see there's my little accent color. I've got all my fonts in there. We scroll down, ribbon menu, manage. You can see start, stop recording is at the top because this is the ribbon on the phone. And when I push that button, it's now going to start recording. So it's actually started 
started recording. I can see at the top of my phone, you can see the, the recorder is going. Uh, I've now got four different devices recording me. Uh, but then once I've finished recording, I can then push stop recording, and it inserts that recording into the file that I'm currently in, which is exactly what I did. You can see eight and a half minutes of a conversation, and then we stopped because we ordered food. But yeah. Now coming onto my PC, you can see we're, we're in my home dashboard. If I open up the bookmarks, you can see I've only got the bookmarks from the PC, so none of those lectures actually appear because, like I said, they don't sync between devices because that's the setting I have. So what I did is I went into Files, went into my folder, went into Sources, which is where the Quick Add added those files, go to sort, then modified new to old because I know, uh, this was a while ago, <laughs> yeah, but I know all the lectures came in basically at the same time, so lecture 14, etc, etc, and you can see now I'm in the file, I've got the pictures in here, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom you can see there is no current backlink, and that's because I haven't processed these notes, I haven't put them anywhere specifically yet, I, what I've done is I've spoken about them in the podcast, so this is a podcast episode, it's just a file inside of the vault, and then I've added in different notes of things we want to talk about. These are the comments that we've added in uh, from different people in the podcast, and that episode will come out probably tomorrow from when this is published. But if I quickly open up my home dashboard on this side, then I go into the sources and zoom in. You can see here inside of my source inbox, I need to go through all 14 of these lectures because these are not linked to a project yet. So lecture 14 is a source file because it's in the source folder and it's not linked to a project file which means it's going to show my source inbox which is in my home dashboard so when I click the home button it brings me to my uh, home grid and if I go slightly to the left I know hey these are some things that I've recently consumed that I still need to put in so you can see editing podcast, Huberman lab podcast and all the lectures. And just to confirm, you can see Hotel Conversation, there's the audio, it does sync audio, I think there is a file sync limit though, I'm not 100% sure that what that is on Obsidian Sync, I think it's like 5 megabytes, I can't remember, you'll have to check the stats for that. 